been fun. It's kind of a dream come true to get paid to play the game. So it's been that's a good trend. I mean, it's gonna be fun, and I think it's been uh, good so far. The guys have been really good and welcoming, and so um, it's been good. Is it a big adjustment for you to go from being in college for four years, you get some stability in that life, and then you kind of uproot everything and start a new life, if you will? Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess you just pack kind of some of your stuff and get out here. And, um, I haven't been here that long, but I'm sure it will be an adjustment both on and off the ice, obviously on the ice with the speed of the game and, and how good everyone is here. And off the ice, no more school, you just kind of in the real world, so you gotta fend for yourself, and I'm sure that takes some time to figure out too. You you led your team in scoring this season. Uh, when you accomplish things like that, does that give you confidence that carries over uh, with you when you do turn pro like this? Um, I mean, it can. I guess it depends on how you think of it. I think uh, at this level, I think the game's a lot different. It's a lot faster, so you can't really think of your past accomplishments, you got to kind of move on from that, but at the same time, you know that you've been successful in the past, and you just got to think, keep working and keep doing the things that have got you there, too. We were just talking to Coach, he said that you're going to get in a, a game this weekend, he didn't know if it would be tomorrow or Saturday, but he said you're going to play this weekend. Uh, you anxious to kind of just jump right in and, and get things going? Yeah, I think it'll I think it'll definitely help to transition, get in the game environment, and really kind of experience what the, the speed of the game is like for, for myself, rather than just kind of hearing guys talk about it or asking different guys and stuff, so I think that'll be helpful for sure. Are you familiar with anybody here from development camps or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I uh, I know a couple guys. I mean, everyone that's here that was at development camp, I've met them before, so. Yeah. So you, you're coming in somewhat familiar with the system, some familiar faces, it's not a totally new world. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I know some of the guys a little bit, and I played against some of the guys in college too, so. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, uh, what day did you get to town? I got in Tuesday night. Okay, so you got to watch last night's game. Yeah, it was seeing Jake go out there and make his debut. Does that kind of does that help you in a way seeing another guy in a similar situation? Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, I thought I thought he looked good, and um, you know, I played against him this year, so I know I know the type of player he is and stuff. And um, some of the other guys that I know that are playing on the other teams, you know, if if they can do it, then so can I. So yeah. Gotcha. Uh, can you kind of describe your game to people around here that might not have seen you on the ice as much? Yeah, I think uh, just kind of take pride in both ends of the rank and I think uh, responsible two-way player and I think I got uh, my strength is kind of hockey sense and thinking the game and, and uh, passing in my hands. Uh, the year that you were drafted, they, the Pens actually drafted Matt Murray and Sunquist after you. Uh, how does that make you feel to know, like, does that give you confidence in the development that you're going to take through this organization, knowing that they're both, you know, currently in the NHL? Um, not really. I mean, I don't really think I look at that much. I think everyone kind of takes their own path. And um, if you look at other players, or some players were drafted really late and end up having successful careers. Others were drafted early and didn't really have as successful careers. So I don't think that matters as much anymore. I think everyone kind of takes their own path. And um, some guys develop faster, some guys take a little more time, so um, I don't really think I compare myself to those guys much or look at that. Okay, and then uh, as far as like the remainder of the season here in the AHL, uh, do you have any goals that you have set, perhaps for yourself, uh, that you hope to accomplish in that short time? Um, not really yet, I'm just kind of, right now I'm just trying to get used to everything, and get to, get to know the guys, get to know the systems, and kind of adjust to the speed of the game, and then kind of go from there. Okay.